Today on BRS TV, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go on the road and visit some new tanks that have been installed by aquarium artisans. So I'm here in Kentucky with Jeremy from Aquarium Artisans, and uh, we're doing a reefer profile of some of the tank installs they've done. Uh, this is the first one here. Ryan, this is a 325-gallon saltwater aquarium. It has right around 40 fish in it, and it's a live rock install that we put in one of our signature stacks where we hide all of the PVC and run it around. The client is a heavy feeder. Uh, he really likes his fish, and we're going to continue to add some few more fish in here for him. Um, what this is is a 5 8 laminated Starfire tank from Miracles Aquariums with custom cabinetry. Features aqua illumination Vega lighting on rails up top. Down below, we have our power as far as our filtration. We have a Super Reef Octopus XP5000. That's gigantic. A 57 watt UV that's underneath here. It's in line on a dark pump. A half horsepower Trade Winds chiller. And the cabinet has CNC routing on the side of it that allows for airflow into the chiller. It goes underneath of there. And as far as maintenance of this account, we take care of this one time a week on a Friday. Um, the client actually feeds about a pound of krill and about four packs of Larry's food. And we combat all of that food with massive water changes. Obviously, the filtration that you see, and we use products from BRS as well, where we put in GFO. We use three-part to keep the rock nice and colorful, and we keep that calcium up in order to keep that algae down. Can you tell me a little bit more about that food again? You said Larry's food and Larry's a pound of krill? Larry's Reef Services food, we use the fish-only blend. Larry actually makes a specific blend for us. It's a chunkier blend to so some of the bigger animals, like our Sapporo puffer. He's floating around over there. He likes to eat it and chew it up, as well as our large Niger trigger. Um, we also use a herbivore frenzy for some of the tangs and as well as the fox face and the 16 ounce pack of krills for our big meat eaters too as well like our trigger and our puffer and things of that nature. Who did the cabinetry for you? The cabinetry was done by uh, my, my woodworker, Benner's Woodworking at 11 in Ohio. Um, Chris really is, takes the extra attention to detail. It's UV coated plywood that's underneath it here and this cabinet will actually hold about 50 gallons of water if there's ever an overflow. We try and make sure that never happens with the check valve and everything else that we install in the system. Chris also CNC routes this for flow through the chiller so I can install it underneath of the cabinet. Um, he really, really thinks like a reefer. You know, one of the things when we designed this aquarium, he said, you know, obviously I don't want it to fall through the floor. So the floor is ripped up. There was a steel I-beam that was laid across here and tied into both of the beams to support the uh, house underneath those. Oh, fantastic, man. This is a really nice tank. Thank you. All right, so we moved on to our second location of our tour here, and we're actually in Ohio now, and he's going to tell us about uh, the next tank. Ryan, what we have here is a 640-gallon custom aquarium that was manufactured by Titan Aquatics Exhibits out of Phoenix, Arizona. The stand and filtration was all put in by the local carpenters that were here. features a closed-loop system on a hammerhead gold with a water-cooled chiller from Tradewinds. Underneath will be a 120-watt aqua UV that's not in yet, as we're still in installation process. And we have also, the closed loop comes through the bottom, hidden in the artificial reef structure that was built by Rock and Reefs out of Florida. The lighting consists of um, LED pendants that will be over top of it. What type of LED pendants do you plan on using? These, this particular client picked the ones that do all the cloud simulations and everything from aqua illumination. The filtration will come down through the floor and we'll actually go into the bottom underneath of the basement stairs that will run the sump, the regular skimmer, and everything that will be underneath it. The skimmer will be a bubble king. There's a two horsepower uh, reflow commercial pump that's on there, as well as the automatic water change system that I'll have on there so we can do water changes on the system. How many feet of pipe do you think you have running through this house? Roughly between the two installs, we've got somewhere between 500 and 600 feet of two inch piping in this home. So there's a second tank here, too. There's a second tank in here, and it's inside the shower. All right, so we got the second tank. It's actually built into a shower here, right? That is correct, Ryan. It's built in the shower. When the client first came to us with the concept, talking about building an aquarium in a shower, we had done one before, and we looked at it, and we thought to ourselves, it can definitely be done, but they really upped the ante by having it actually inside the shower. So our concern was, obviously, the first thing is, you know, water dripping into it and, and actually the heat problems from having a steam shower inside the aquarium. So... The way we looked at it is we oversized the chiller, we put all the filtration in the basement, um, we made sure that this is all watertight and that the rain heads were much lower inside the shower than the actual shower, the aquarium itself. Um, the other challenges that we had is when they were tiling this, we had to climb up underneath here and plumb everything. They're going to put a curved panel here for us so that we can get inside there if we ever need to tighten bulkheads down the road. 
The aquarium was built by Titan Aquatics Exhibits. The uh, artificial street reef structure was built by Rock and Reefs out of Florida, and the light that will be over top of it is aqua illumination with all the different color changing on it. Okay, so as soon as you get water in this thing, it's going to be pretty epic, man. This is pretty cool. I mean, you got rain heads everywhere. Yeah, we got rain heads everywhere, and you know, the main concern was is I wanted to when I first looked at this design, I wanted to put an acrylic window all the way to the ceiling. The more and more we looked at it with the homeowner. We decided that we were going to actually put the physical aquarium inside of the shower and get it wet with water. I talked with the aquarium manufacturer. We discussed, you know, certain things that we had to keep off of the glass. The homeowner is well aware of, you know, different chemicals and hair things to keep off the glass in the aquarium. We will be here two to three times a week to make sure we take care of the cleaning of it and inside and out. So we're going to stay on top of that so we make sure that this exhibit stays crystal clear for life. Fantastic. Let's take a look at a couple of the uh, filtration systems you got downstairs. I know they're not complete, but we can get an idea where they're going to be. Absolutely, need. absolutely. Let's go. We have here the filtration for the 225 gallon shower tank. So, what we have here is a 125 gallon sump with K1 Cognis Reactor Media. Over here, we have the closed loop reflow gold pump that will feed the chiller and the UV. On the other side, we have a Tiger Shark pump that will feed it that goes through about 150 to 200 feet of line. Down here we have the big two horsepower water cooled trade winds chiller unit that will actually keep that aquarium nice and cool when the shower's on. We have a 125 gallon stand up sump here that will actually do every bit of water changes for that system to keep it nice and crystal clear. And we will have all of our UVs and stuff mounted up here as construction continues to um, move forward. All right, well, thanks for showcasing uh, some of the cool tanks that you're doing over at Aquarian Artisans. Uh, hopefully, some of our viewers will check out your uh, website. And uh, at the shower tank is particularly cool. Uh, the whole thing's really neat, man. So I really appreciate you sharing with our viewers. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for coming out and seeing what we do and, and checking out our new retail line and our retail store that's opening. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you.